In this question, we are asked to build equivalent equations beginning with the equation or truth statement y equals 15. So we'll perform these four operations to both sides of the given equation to create equivalent equations. So beginning with y equals 15, the first operation is divide by five, which means we divide both sides of the equation by five, which gives us y divided by five equals 15 divided by five. Simplifying the right side of the equation, 15 divided by five is equal to three. Our first equivalent equation is y divided by five equals three. Notice how if we substitute 15 for y in the equation, it does satisfy the equation, verifying y equals 15 is the solution to our first equivalent equation. Operation two is to add four. Now we add four to both sides of this equation, which gives us y divided by five plus four equals three plus four. Simplifying the right side, three plus four is seven. Our next equivalent equation is y divided by five plus four equals seven. Once again, this is an equivalent equation to the given equation y equals 15. The next operation is to multiply by negative three. We need to multiply both sides of this equation by negative three which would be the quantity y divided by five plus four times negative three equals seven times negative three. Now looking at this first product here, we normally use the commutative property multiplication and we write this product as a negative three times the quantity y divided by five plus four. So let's begin by doing that. We would have negative three times the quantity y divided by five plus four equals on the right side Seven times negative three is equal to negative 21. And again, we have another equivalent equation to the equation y equals 15, which means y equals 15 is a solution to this equation. And the last operation is subtract six. Now we subtract six on both sides of this equation. This gives us negative three times the quantity y divided by five plus four minus six equals negative 21 minus six. Simplifying the right side, negative 21 minus six is equal to negative 27. Our final equivalent equation is negative three times the quantity y divided by five plus four minus six equals negative 27. So again, we have just created one, two, three, four equivalent equations to the given equation or truth statement, y equals 15. And before we go, let's go ahead and verify y equals 15 is a solution to this last equation. So we will substitute 15 for y and then verify the equation is satisfied. So performing the check, we would have negative three times the quantity 15 divided by five plus four minus six equals negative 27. Following the order of operations to simplify the left side of the equation, we simplify inside the parentheses first. 15 divided by five is equal to three. This gives us negative three times the quantity three plus four minus six equals negative 27. Still simplifying inside the parentheses, three plus four is seven. This simplifies to negative three times seven minus six equals negative 27. Now we have multiplication and subtraction. We multiply first. Negative three times seven is negative 21. We have negative 21 minus six equals negative 27. And finally, negative 21 minus six is equal to negative 27. Negative 27 equals negative 27 is true, verifying the solution to the last equivalent equation is y equals 15. In fact, y equals 15 is the solution to all of the equivalent equations that we found. I hope you found this helpful.